Hello from London, Gareth here, and the last time we were in the park for the vlog there was a heavy snowfall. Uh, this time it's very definitely now spring, and uh, I'm on my way over actually to the garden centre. The garden is going wild over at How to Get Fluent Towers, and it's the time for my an annual pilgrimage to get some uh, tomato plants, some bedding plants, some flowering plants, um, for, for a great summer in the garden. So um, I just thought I'd take this opportunity of the walk over to um, bring you up to date with my own uh, language learning, what's going on, and maybe mention a little bit about plans for the channel and the site as well at the same time. Um, uh, as those of you who are regulars will know, I'm a Basque learner and um, the main language I've been focusing on uh, has been Basque so far this year. But it's sort of in second place to my work on the vlog and the blog at the moment. Um, it's a question of sort of keeping going, a uh, gradual movement forward. So I've been having um, uh, Skype lessons with uh, my mainstay teacher Unai um, twice a week for 45 minutes generally. That's been in the morning before I go out to work normally. And then also I've been working with Aidar, another teacher. Um, for, on a Saturday morning usually we've done half an hour together. So um, that's been to keep the, uh, the practice with the speaking going but also working together with materials from textbooks and other materials, doing some of the exercises actually verbally with Aidar to practice the uh, verb forms in Basque in particular which are particularly difficult so it's a sort of drilling that I've been doing. I've managed to do a certain amount of uh, reading as well. I bought a couple of uh, books in Basque and I've worked through those. Um, I've also bought uh, Harry Potter in Basque. You may have seen the vlog on that uh, one Tuesday although at the moment I haven't started on that yet. Uh, with Russian I've been mainly getting a, a lot of um, exposure through um, watching media mainly on YouTube and listening to the radio. A lot of Basque radio listening going on as well for me. And um, in addition though, I've had some great opportunities to use the language. So one of my friends, Misha, who comes over to quite, to, quite often to London, uh, was giving a, a concert the other day um, over in Islington with his band, actually mainly Poles. So I went over to take part in that. Got to use a bit of Russian with Misha. And then also my friend Tamash, who is a photographer, had his graduation show, which I was able to attend, and I got to speaking some Russian with him, which, which was great. A lot of reading of Russian too, so I'm reading, I've been reading on my commute, uh, history books mainly, and I'm reading novels, uh, mainly, you know, just before bedtime actually, or if I wake up in the night. So I've got a Russian novel uh, at the side of the bed, a couple of things actually in Russian. I'm off to Germany actually this week, uh, to Berlin for a friend's birthday party, an old German friend of mine, and so um, I've been, you know, working on keeping my German up to speed, uh, less really than perhaps I'd have liked to have been doing. It's been mainly uh, listening to the radio again and a certain amount of reading, but I'll be, I'll be sort of cranking that up now in the next few days because I'm hoping to have a quite a German couple of weeks. I'll be in Berlin first, I hope to vlog from there briefly, and similarly my first trip to Vienna. So that's coming up and then I'll be going straight on from there to the uh, polyglot gathering in Bratislava. As regards the site, well, I said at the beginning of the year I wanted to focus much more on uh, general language learning advice because I thought there wasn't enough actually about how to get fluent on the site, if you like, um, and that's what I've been doing. So there have been articles about um, language exams, there was a big survey article I did on what's easy and what's difficult with German. I've also looked most recently at uh, translation, is it a good idea in your language learning? And there's been some more stuff up uh, about reading on the site. So um, if you haven't checked out those articles, have a look at them. You know from the YouTube channel uh, that I've been vlogging on a Tuesday, mainly with quick chip, tip, quick tips, and on a Thursday when we've been looking at um, uh, sort of more in-depth language learning advice, and I've had interviews and several travel vlogs, most recently uh, from, uh, from Hong Kong, when I was over in Hong Kong. And a fun thing that was up a couple of Thursdays ago was the um, Don't Be Afraid to Make Mistakes video from the last polyglot gathering, where lots of polyglots took part and said, uh, you know, gave that useful advice in, uh, in their own languages. So there was a whole um, panoply of languages there uh, to listen to and that really was a bit of fun and sort of got me into, into the mood for uh, the gathering coming up pretty soon. Uh, language learning I think goes in waves, so this year I haven't had 
at least so far this year and I don't have on the horizon a big burst, a big project such as going for an exam as I have in previous years. Uh, but under the radar I'm still moving forward. So that's where I am. Uh, what about you? Let me know how the first few months have gone. You know we're in May now of this year with your language learning. Has it been steady as she goes? Uh, have you uh, hit against um, particular problems that you're finding uh, are holding you back? Um, or are you happy with, uh, with what you're doing? Maybe you're pushing forward uh, in a huge burst. I don't know. Tell me about it below. I'm going to go off now to the garden centre to get some plants. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Hit the like button if you like this video. And I'll hope to see you again uh, pretty soon. Next video coming up on Thursday. And that will be an interview video this time. So look out for that. Ciao.